Hello, my name's John Griffin Dahman, but a lot of people call me Dr. Leisure. I like to make short videos on a variety of topics. Food, fashion, art, travel. I like to make these short videos, and I hope you like watching them. But if you don't, well, that's fine. It's an SOC Fine Arts Gallery featuring the work of Louisiana Craft Guild members in both traditional and contemporary pottery, blown grass, wood, and metal sculptures, baskets, dyed silk, jewelry, recycled art, and fine furniture. 551 Jefferson Street, Lafayette, Louisiana. The Louisiana Craft Guild is a jewelry organization and fine crafts artisans located throughout the state of Louisiana and the southern region of the United States because of its rigorous jewelry process and dedicated to excellence and fine craft membership is selected and based on merit. Guild members tend to be active in their community, often providing demonstrations to schools, churches, libraries, and other organizations. Guild members also provide direct and indirect support to community events, nonprofit organizations, and fundraisers. The Louisiana Craft Guild, which was founded in Lafayette, leased and occupied the historic Saint Souci building since 2001. It was on a month-to-month -month lease with the Lafayette Public Trust Financing Authority since 2019, but after extended discussion was evicted from the important cultural artifact at 219 East Vermilion Street in Parc Saint Souci, sited on my birthplace because of routine need for building maintenance, updating, and modernization appropriate to heritage structures. Built in 1847, the previous location is one of the oldest buildings in Lafayette and has played a historic role in the city, serving as an inn, post office, and the first newspaper office, and the Sans Souci bookshop. As a result, it was particularly appropriate as a fine arts craft center, providing a powerful anchor for tourism and, of course, a wonderful setting for the produce of Louisiana's creative class. Quoted in, a, in an article in the Daily Advocate, Kevin Blanchard with the Lafayette Public Trust Financing Authority said of evicting the Craft Guild, this is a bad situation. But I think that the trust has more than demonstrated over the years that we've been willing to go above and beyond to support the Crafts Guild. He claimed that they've had such cheap rent for so long in such a great location, we've effectively been subsidizing their operations. Blanchard apparently discounted the enormous benefit the Guild provided the community from positive publicity. According to the advocate story, the LPTFA is not a charitable group. It receives no tax dollars, but relies on investments to generate money that it uses for projects that benefit the city and parish. Aside from the easily quantified benefit of financial gain attached to leveraging higher rents with new tenants, it's not immediately clear to the observer why the loss of such a prestigious tenant in the beloved Saint Souci historic premises creates a benefit to the city and parish.